Hello everyone, my name is iDrooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to update your guys' 5M server. If you guys are getting an error message before you join your server or in a little notification next to your server on the 5M console saying that your server artifacts are outdated, then this is how you guys update them. What you guys are going to want to do is go to the link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to downloading the latest 5M build server artifacts. What you guys are going to do is click the top one right here, which will be the latest one. And then it should open and start downloading a 5M server folder. Now, if you guys have set up your 5M server yourself, as I'm assuming most of you guys have, it's pretty much the same as setting up your server from scratch instead of having to actually restart. It's kind of just drag and dropping them and replacing the previous files. There might be a few extra files or folders depending on what they've updated in 5M. So if you do see one, it doesn't matter. You can still drag and drop it in. What you guys are going to do is find your 5M server. Now, if you have a TX admin server, like most of you guys have, if you watch my tutorial, what you guys are going to do is find your 5M folder and open up the server folder that we made. This will be pretty much identical to every single file in here. If there are extras, like I said, don't worry, we can still drag and drop them in. But what you guys are going to want to do, make sure your server is closed first, control A, and drag and drop all of them into your 5M server. And once your game files have finished copying across, all you guys are gonna wanna do is go back to your 5M server's main folder, where your TX data in your server folder is, and start up your server with your original default.bat. You should be able to see everything will run as normal, and when you guys go into your 5M server, you will not have that annoying outdated artifacts, and you will not also have it in your guys' TX admin 5M server console as well. It makes life a lot easier and also ensures that your 5M server is always up to date. And if you guys aren't sure what 5M version you have, you can always view it on your console. There should be a little colored line of code when you first start it up or a little message saying what sort of server build you're running if you guys aren't sure of that. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy and did find it useful, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and check out my channel sponsor Zap Hosting down in the description below if you guys are looking for a 5M server host. They are technically the only official 5M server host, so be sure to check them out. And they're really, really cheap and really reliable. And use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off your next product with them. That could be from a 5M server to a Minecraft server or a VPS is really up to you. So check them out down in the description below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.